What up, YouTube? It's your boy Gary Lamb signing on. And there is a question on my video. Maybe divorce is the answer. And it's from a subscriber by the name of Stephanie. And I figured that this is more important than a comment. So let me go ahead and make a video about it. And I thought this through a lot before making this video. She pertaining to a statement that I made in the video about piggybacking off of the civil rights movement. And here is her question. She says, serious question. My mom got an unborn lives matter sticker for my car. It's my, it's my way of saying everyone is important and matters. We are all human, so we need to treat each other as human, humans. But after watching your video, does this come across as piggybacking and is it offensive? That wasn't my intention. The short answer is yes and yes. It is piggybacking because there is no such thing as a, 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 a original thought in this country. It's just we're rethinking what has been thought millions and millions of times over. There is no original thought. So yes, technically it is piggybacking. And yes, it can be offensive. For example, let's say somebody who just had their third abortion sees that tick that sticker. They might get offended by seeing that. They might think you're coming after their right to have abortions. You're not, but that's how they will feel because unfortunately, many people in this country don't have opinions. They have religions. You understand me? I don't have a religion. I have opinions. That's why you can attack my opinion and I won't get offended. I might get passionate and I might like I might get, you know, animated because I'm just an animated character. But I'm not about to sit here and think you are, you're attacking my character because I if you say, dude, that sounds stupid. I'm like, well, explain to me how that sounds stupid because I don't like sounding stupid. Help me out because I thought I thought this all the way through. Apparently I didn't. So help me out. That's how I think. But I had a father who taught me that some things you do and say could be stupid because you're only you're only human and you're growing up. You may not have the um, the wisdom because you haven't had the experience to get the wisdom to understand why your opinion is flawed. So many people here have religions. They practice a religion, not an opinion. With that said. It shouldn't matter. Here's why. None of this have anything to do with the civil rights movement and how gays and other minorities used it to forward along their agenda. You see, in this country, black people were slaves for over 400 years. Everybody knows this, or at least I hope everybody knows this. And those those uh, support systems that this country put in, those, those, those um, social support systems, was designed to help out black people, not immigrants from other countries who decide to come here on their own free will, not women who complain that they are minority because of reasons, not a gay person that thinks he's a double minority because he likes this, I'm not going to get graphic, and not for goofy ass women like this who think she's a minority because she's mixed. This was all because black people were decimated in this country. We, was, we were freed with nothing. Nothing. And when they realized that we can't get out of this hole without support, they put in all these support systems like they got rid of segregation because segregation was keeping black men from being able to get up and get ahead in life. How can I get a job when nobody will hire me? Well, you need to get an education. Well, I can't go to school, so how am I going to how am I get an education if you won't teach me? Well, we're going to give you schools on your own. Okay, fine. How are we going to get the books and all the, um, the, the tools we need to learn how to read if you won't give me money to fund it? It all went down to that. That's why they start giving you, okay, here's this, that, and a third, blah, 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 blah. And then they changed the words from black to minorities. And once they did that, everybody named mama jumped on the, um, the civil rights movement. And that's why I have a problem with gays. That's why I have a problem with um, immigrants. That's why I have a problem with anybody that utilizes our movement as black people to push their agenda. Because it wasn't designed for you. 
All right. I have a personal vendetta towards that because I have nothing. If I go and ask for support, you know what they'll say? Uh, ain't nothing here for you. Sorry. It's nothing here for you. Everything's, everything's, everything's taken up. You know, you're dead last on the tonal pole. We got to go, we got to, we got to go through this person and then this person and this immigrant and that immigrant. We got to go through this person's sexual orientation and that person or sexual orientation. Now we got people running around saying that I'm a mixed kid, so I'm a minority too. Like all this stuff piggybacking off of the civil rights movement. No, sweetheart, you're fine. You're going to offend somebody no matter what you do. Hell, I walk down the street with a pew pew um, shirt on. That can be offensive to somebody because they don't like guns. You good. Do you. Protest the way you want to protest. You good. This is Gary Lynn signing off. You guys have a good one.